this is my let's start talking about inverse npcs in general like the inverse npc is a mug to be honest with you and to be an inverse npc is, is just as bad if not worse it's probably worse you're basically just a maladjusted npc i mean this sounds harsh but it's kind of true like if you're going to be an npc like at least you're swimming with the tide you know what i mean but the, the, the inverse NPC it just is completely reactive to anything the NPCs are into. And that's all that that's basically their worldview is being anti oh my god, cringe, and then going the other way. Well, like that's a really like low quality kind of way to be, it seems to me. Because you're just being you're being like wafted around one way or the other. Just purely out of like, you know, reactionary sentiment. It doesn't seem that there's much actual kind of, you know, of your own views in there. And we saw this with Ukraine, like with bells on. You know, these people, are, you know, I'm not going to get into that whole situation again now because I think my feelings are well known on the subject. But just what these people would, would just lap up and the sources that they would lap them up from, they go and they watch the Duran for fuck's sake. Now, I did talk at length about the Duran on a video which, you know, in recent events will not see the light of day. Uh, you know, around a, a certain individual. Um, I mean, to put it in a nutshell, the Duran, I mean, that guy, McCoolis, potato face, he's like, this guy is, a, is an RT correspondent. <laughs> he's literally works for RT. He gets paid by RT. And then in his spare time, what, he just runs this as a hobby? Do these people think, oh, you know, with the other guy, I don't know, Christopheru or whatever his name is, <laughs> with a big beard. You can see him but photo before he had the beard and he's this little chinlet. I mean, these people, they're, they're, like, they're comedy people, really, to me. And it's just ridiculous that these people take them seriously. And they're like, oh, I'm formulating my opinions based on the Duran. I mean, you're just hoovering up propaganda and because you like that propaganda, because it's going against what the NPCs are telling you. Oh, I don't watch CNN. I don't watch B BBC. I watch the Duran. I mean, you have to be very, very stupid, in my view, to think that that is an organic, natural, non-biased source of information. So it's for the inverse NPCs, or it's just for people that are just nakedly pro-Russia. But, you know, it's absolute the epitome of NPCism. Or you just, you're just changing your source. And I mean, these people that are inverse NPCs, they just get they just get wafted around by whatever the news story is. You know, it's the same thing with all this in the, in Israel. You know, one minute they're this, then minute they're that. Next minute, now you've got all these people that were in the sort of like dissident right, and now they're all like cheering on for Palestine and cheering on for like Iran and the multipolar world. <laughs> like, you know, what are you doing? Like, you don't have to cheer on for one side or the other. Sit it out. I mean. I look at that situation in Palestine and in, in, in Israel, and I just think, "Whoa, it's just two 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 nutters having a fight." And you know, I'm sorry, it's going to be quite unpleasant for one side or the other. But I've got no opinion on it. I've got no interest in it. And these people that are taking sides on it, they're doing it because they're inverse NPCs and they're getting angry about other things and they're being reactive about things in the media. It seems to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they've just got very strong appealing, uh, opinions about, you know, Palestine and Israel. To be honest, I don't. I just think that's a part of the world I want nothing to do with at all. And what goes on there goes on there. I, I just don't know. It's, it's nothing to do with me. I've got my hands full, quite frankly, when it comes to, when it comes to uh, global conflict. Well, perhaps that's a personal thing, but whatever. So I don't know, I mean, this is a bit of a ramble really, isn't it? And it's probably not really a very strong conclusion other than just don't be an inverse NPC, don't get played because this will all be designed again by groups. They'll be playing people on the internet. Everything is bespoke. Oh, sorry, it's not bespoke. You think it's bespoke, but you're just wearing stuff off the rack. And this is opinions. And I absolutely am a case of that as well, no doubt. Like they've kind of gamed everything. Now, there are degrees to which you can kind of fall under the sway of it. And I like to think that I'm not fully under the sway of it, but like my personality type fits a conspiracy theorist and it fits like someone who's a bit nationalistic and, and you know, likes the traditional way to be, <laughs> you know what I mean, so to speak. And, you know, I mean, they will have, they'll have arranged that. They know what these people 
like you know person a person b person c what their preferences are and like everything's set up for it i mean it's like musk comes back on twitter and he says oh everyone can come back and they can start saying whatever they want it's because they want the data and they want the ability to do this they want the ability to speak to people who were previously being banned and going into outlier kind of groups or whatever that maybe wasn't under their control before so they just wanted to get everyone back in the big tent where they could kind of monitor them and they could corral them and they could feed them one way or the other and they could manipulate them so all these people getting excited about it it's just like no you're just going to get played on twitter again they're just going to use your data and they're going to feed you one way or the other again it's all just control and you're kind of daft if you think it's anything but and it's a bit a bit of a cliche but the only way to the only way to win is to not play just get off it all it's kind of why i suggest like just finding hobbies and, and kind of reducing you know reducing your focus on these weird little political groups which is probably hypocritical because you know i read about them sometimes i watch the odd stream and everything and you know i'm into conspiracy you can be into all of this but be into it as a hobby don't don't get sucked into this nonsense we're changing things. You're not changing it. This channel is conspiratainment. That's all it is. It's conspiratainment. And pretty much all these guys, they're conspiratainment. And they'll they'll bray at that, a lot of them, because they kind of pat themselves on the back and they think that they're like, you know, the resistance and all this kind of stuff. No, you're on fucking YouTube. You're conspiratainment. This is just, hopefully, somewhat interesting content around, like, conspiracy. But the idea that you're changing anything with YouTube videos or with tweets, it's just nonsense. So don't get mugged off by it. So there you go. Just my opinion on it, on it all. Uh, if you disagree with any of it, you, 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 you're more than welcome to, uh, to tell me why. You're more than welcome to do what you want. If you, if, you don't like, if you don't like the content, just unsubscribe. You know, God bless. Find something that you do like.